Hi guys, welcome to the session on uh, the new features of Java 9. Today we will cover the overview of what are the new changes that are adopted to the new Java release. The first thing uh, that we need to understand is the Java uh, 9. That is going to be a huge change in the Java programming language like the JDK 5 and JDK 8. Uh, JDK 5 uh, was a great change uh, from the Java programming perspective. After that came the latest, uh, sorry, uh, the previous version of uh, JDK 8 uh, which gave that uh, procedural programming through Lambda expression, stream API and all those changes were included. And now we have JDK 9. That we will discuss today. See, JDK 9 has such changes that it will affect the fundamental ways of Java language programming. See how we used to approach Java programming. Uh, earlier Java was a completely monolithic programming language that is now converted to modular programming. So what are the major changes that has uh, come in this Java IC 9 version? The first and foremost is the project Jigsaw. In the past, Java was a monolithic programming language and now it is modular. The next thing is the JShell. JShell, everyone is too interested and keen about this release actually. Java is now having a REPL, R-E-P-L, Redevelopment Loop. So it is a Java interactive shell. We can uh, write program and uh, get results uh, then and there without uh, this class, main method and everything. The next important is the support for HTTP2 client. Then the process API updates. We can uh, see these are the main updates uh, in Java IC 9. There are many updates uh, present in the Java IC 9. So another question is where can we find what are the new updates that are uh, present in the Java IC 9. So I'll guide give you one website. This is opengdk.java.net. So here if you open uh, this URL, you can see what are the changes that are added in this uh, release of JDK. See all the important features are given with their JSR IDs. Now uh, you can see uh, we have discussed about uh, process API updates, uh, modular JDK. This is the important uh, update uh, uh, having here and all those things. So you can go through this uh, website and uh, you can click and get the details of important up, uh, uh, details of what are the changes that is going to happen in this particular version. So project Jigsaw. See what is meant by modular? How we are going to integrate a modular system in uh, Java? This project Jigsaw has many modules inside itself. So uh, one of this is the modular JDK. See if you have been programming in Java, you would be knowing of a jar file, rt.jar, the runtime jar file. See, whatever classes we are using, the object classes, the main uh, SQL packages, everything comes in the rt.jar file. So, are we using uh, this rt.jar to its full potential? In most cases, the answer is no, because it has an immense number of classes, more than uh, thousands of classes. So we are not using all these classes for any program. See, uh, just I am writing a program to calculate or add two numbers. I don't need those thousands of classes to be included in my program. It is not at all necessary. And see, if I am uh, looking forward a system uh, which is having a small computation ability, so I would like to have my code as minimum as possible. So this can be achieved by the JDK modularity. Uh, the basic functionality can be used within the Java uh, base package. There are many packages and those modules are interconnected also. Uh, they have their own dependency. So if you want to take one module and that module is dependent on another module, that will be automatically configured and added to the path. Uh, earlier we need to manually add these things to the class path uh, to uh, make it uh, working. But now uh, this modular concept itself will use two keywords actually. It will use requires and export. See, 
to explain about modular we'll be using another tutorial so using these keywords what it will do is it will ensure that the errors will come in compile time rather than run time if some package is missing it will show an error then and there instead of uh, giving an error at run time that this jar uh, this class file is uh, not uh, present or this uh, we are getting class not found exception those kind of things java was monolithic and java is modular now so until the release of java 9 uh, java was a monolithic programming language now we have modular concept we'll be uh, doing some pozs on uh, this modularity concept we will create a tutorial uh, for this uh, uh, project jigsaw and uh, one more thing uh, that is significant in this thing is that whatever packages whatever classes whatever function we are using in this modules they are private by default the next is reliable configuration in uh, earlier java days uh, we used to uh, what uh, do in class path right uh, if you ignore the build tools what we need to do is we need to add whatever jar files and their corresponding dependencies to the class path appropriately if not uh, we'll be getting uh, uh, great issues see the thing with dependencies is that uh, if you are uh, creating one jar and uh, sorry if you are using one jar and you are using that in our uh, program that particular class while we are importing it will show compile time error so for example i am using a class calculator which is there in a jar file and i have imported the jar file so if i try to import the calculator class and the jar file is not present then it will show a compile time error because that class is not there but i have added that calculator uh, jar file to my system but this calculator jar file uh, needs another jar file to run on its own so that is not accounted for here if I, if this calculator class requires some other uh, calculator helper class or helper jar file that won't uh, result in a compile time error what will happen is it will eventually create a runtime error and runtime errors are uh, are too bad compared to uh, compile time errors so uh, using this modular concept uh, what we will gain is we will get those errors in compile time itself because while defining the modules we will give the require command and require command will say this is not present so i cannot add this class file to our path so that is another important update and uh, see because uh, i can use only what i need java becomes highly scalable for low computing devices the next is JShell. JShell, as I told, is REPL. See, if you are familiar with any of the uh, programming languages like Python or something, uh, you will be able to know they have an interactive shell. The shell uh, with prediction, prediction, you can use uh, like in SQL, you can use tab. Tab will predict uh, what is there. Like in uh, any ID, we can use control space or something uh, to predict. So, what REPL is, uh, that uh, it's an interactive Java command line. So, uh, we can write our expression statements or uh, evaluate some conditions. We can do whatever we want without the help of any classes here. So we can see it uh, in action actually. Uh, I have already downloaded uh, the Java new version. So I'll just go to the path where it is installed. It's installed in uh, program files. Okay, now I'm inside the bin folder. I can just type jshell okay jshell it will be an interesting session see now onwards uh, if you are going to learn java programming or you are going to teach someone java programming you can start with jshell actually if not uh, we have to first teach them what is a class what is object oriented concepts how uh, the main method is uh, invoked first time and why it is public static all those things we should discuss and make them understand and then you can write the system.out.println hello world so it's a bit complicated for them to understand at first time so instead you can tell them this is the java interactive command line so here you can write the print statement directly without the use of anything you can teach them every uh, basics of java and then move on to the classes Okay, uh, see here it is uh, telling uh, slash help intro for an introduction. JSON tool allows you to execute Java code getting immediate results. You can enter a Java definition like int x is equal to 8 
and give an expression x plus x that will return 16 okay also uh, these are called snippets and uh, here it's telling uh, see we can at any point of time we can get the number of variables that are present we can give a slash list and also uh, for the list of commands i'll plus slash help so it has a uh, it will print all the commands that are present in this version hmm, okay we'll just get started the first thing is that if i press a number and enter that uh, gets saved that is a scratch variable it is called see this is the dollar one notation if you see in other programming see in uh, unix programming and all dollar uh, one will be the argument which is holding the first uh, variable so here itself a dollar one is assigned the first value so if i am pressing four then i'll get a dollar dollar two is equal to four and instead i can declare like uh, x is equal to six See that will say x equal to 6. Now if I want to uh, print uh, the variables that are presently there, I can use this slash list command. It will say uh, the first is having $5, one is having $5, $2 two is having 4 and $3 is the third line is int x is equal to 6. Now uh, see we can uh, add uh, like x plus x and it will say 12 that is a fourth line or else you can use this system dot out dot print ln decodica tutorials See, we got the uh, first program to print something like Tectonica tutorials. It will just take a uh, system dot out dot print ln and it gets printed as it is. Or else, if I want to write a function, so I am writing a function void uh, uh, loop of uh, I am passing one variable int x and I am opening. See, uh, you can see the shell actually. It is not coming to the J shell prompt because uh, we know the function is not yet completed so it is uh, uh, allowing me to enter the uh, following lines so i'll just write what if uh, for int i is equal to 0 i less than uh, x I'll write I plus plus I'll open so what I'm going to write uh, I'll just write uh, what are the uh, I'll just sum it I'll write uh, oh I'll just print the numbers till end system dot out dot print ln what I'm going to print this I so I have created shows the method loop is created now now uh, we can use a, a loop uh, of five See, it gets a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's printed. So, I can just evaluate any code snippet and uh, it will work on it. So, finally, to exit, uh, just press slash exit and it will exit. Saying goodbye. So, we will have a detailed session on JShell uh, later on. Now, we will move on to the next part. The process API updates. It extends Java's ability to interact with the OS. Uh, for getting process IDs, arguments, uh, CPU wait time, all those things uh, we can now uh, use through this process handle class which is added in this thing. We can even get the process ID of the current JVM that is handling the request. Next is the HTTP2 client support. See, 
HTTP 2 has been there for uh, some time now uh, that is added to Java. See it is using three classes the client request and response HTTP but see one thing we need to understand is that it is an incubator module. Incubator module in the sense actually it's not part of a JDK 9. It is not part of the JDK 9 in the sense that see you can go to this JDK 9 uh, sorry uh, the open JDK site and if you open this particular uh, HTTP client you can see incubator incubator is there so even though it is delivered you can see the API and implementation will not be part of Java SE uh, it is just an added implementation so it is an incubator module hopefully it will be released along with the Java SE 9 okay Fox uh, uh, that is just a basic overview of what are the updates that is present in uh, uh, JDK 9. Actually there are several other modifications uh, in sense of JVM as well as process as well as the compilation sense. The JLink tool is there which enables to create a runtime image of an application that contains only the necessary module that is required. Uh, and also one more important thing is that applets applets java applets are no longer recommended after this jdk 9 release so uh, i'm planning to have a, s a detailed session on the uh, topics that we have covered so let me know your thoughts about that thank you for watching bye